hey guys this is games and welcome to my channel so i got my hands on another new legendary sn and this time it is the pen for daring swing on daring swing increase your primary attack speed by 30 percent for 6.4 second now let me quickly clarify that to you guys if you guys are wondering if we do war urge actually increase the duration let me quickly show it to you guys and the answer is no it actually does activate the v2's buff like attack speed and bottle hope but you will not get the duration increase on this it stays the same 6.4 percent so that is actually a bummer so every 6.4 6 second after you have to use the ring swing and we already know that uh, it's not really convenient but still it is going to give us another 30 percent attack speed with v urge it can goes up to 60 and right now i have 10 percent more attack speed so i i should i, I should be around at 70 percent attack speed at the moment with v buff and then swing and then 10 percent from the give itself so yeah let's see and i am going to replace mock screen with the reign of vengeance so yeah let's see how it goes i am in hell 8 difficulty so far today i have i am not having good luck with the legendary draw but anyways let's see how it looks like so yeah like this and all right they are dead let's gather them up and see how it okay you you want to play this game i have to look at my screen and use the swing again hmm the attack speed is there but still if i had smoke screen with quick damage 50% good chance I can definitely kill them a lot faster that I can already sense all right now I am actually waiting for the new chest if I get my hands on it today or tomorrow I am really hoping that I do the main hand is already a really good one it works really well against a single target but there if there are horde of enemies multi shot is still better against them with the smoke screen uh, combo that I can tell you all right this is already slow I can sense my critical chance is only like six percent my gear is not really well made because i am still looking for the better combat rating gear pieces so i cannot actually uh, get critical chance in my gear pieces which is a bummer but anyways this is what it looks like and if you ask me this feels slow hold on let me just change that to smoke screen and then see All right, these guys are dead. More malakas. Six seconds. Yeah, almost to come on six seconds. Anyways, let's go back. So far, I am not really liking the jump and getting the buff. I mean, it's not really convenient. It looks good on the sheet but uh, jumping around just to get this buff is actually not convenient so hold on yeah let me just change it to this and everything else is the same let's see how much of a big difference it makes 
maybe I am wrong, maybe I am not, but we'll see. Uh, I, I, I grabbed the buff there. So let me wait to... Yeah, it's over. Alright, there it goes. And yeah, I used the smoke screen and they died pretty quick. Huh, what happened to my impale? I used uh, I activated it but it did it. But anyways Yep It does make a difference. So smoke screen is actually still better. For key uh, moments, if we activate the smoke screen at the right time, we can definitely see it makes a huge difference there. At the key m moment when we activate the smoke screen, it still is better. Yep, definitely smoke screen is still better. It's all about timing. Activating the smoke screen at the right time and BAM! They are gone. I cannot actually get this with more attack speed. And since I am lacking critical chance... Yeah, look at him, he's gone. Since I'm lacking critical chance on my gear, this smoke screen makes a huge difference for me. And gone. Alright. I was hoping that this pen would actually make a new, you know? It brings some new build style, but... So far, I am not a really big fan of Daring Swing. But I can actually see something. I mean, it might be good for this feed farming. Maybe. I'm not sure. But anyways, we can see that... Uh, Daring Swing is not convenient. It's, it's really not that fun you have to keep jumping to get the buff and daring swing is not for that daring swing is to make sure that we are able to evade dangerous situation or just change position so we can aim better but if we are actually getting 30 percent speed from there that is actually not a really good option if this attack speed would have come in the shoulder i would have been really happy but no yeah they swing they have daring swing buffs on the shoulder as well why did they introduce it on the pants makes no sense it should have come on the shoulder in my opinion so instead of chilling i could have easily used my uh 30 percent attack speed on the shoulder and keep my pants with the critical chance that would have been much better way to go but since this came with the pants uh i was saying no but anyways i am going to test gloom guide as well maybe just to see if it's going to be a good way to make some changes to the current bills for demon hunter but anyways i'll see you guys in my next one i really didn't like this pet mechanic with the daring swing if only it was on the shoulder i would have been okay with that but anyways i hope you guys uh like the video and if you guys have any question do let me know and one more thing i actually test the other weapon here as well on the hunger with the impale but the thing is i was actually losing 19 percent crossbow shot damage but we can actually uh, make a combo of 
impaled with another offhand weapon which actually caused bleeding to enemies with the impale skill but we will going to lose 19% crossbow damage and that is actually a lot 9% from the crossbow itself and 10% from the awakening so yeah that's a lot for me but anyways i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys